All right, guys. So we're actually jumping right back into it. Um, we just escaped the cave, and now we're actually trying to just get right back into um, Melman so we can actually heal our party and just go home or wherever home is. Uh, probably we're probably actually gonna have to go to um, Alfheim because that's the only one that actually has the um, ability. Uh, or the shop to heal people. But yeah, we're just gonna kind of jump up here. That's pretty much all we're doing. Yeah, and by the way, if you're curious, this is actually uh, Vote Plays Final Fantasy. It's a series we have where Vote, which is the website, um, hosts a forum. The forum is Final Fantasy. We play through Final Fantasy games and we just um, talk about it. So we're doing August this month. Um, is going to be Final Fantasy 1 and then next month it's going to be Final Fantasy 2 and so on and so forth. We're so close guys. Ooh. It's actually not that bad. <laughs> he's getting brutalized, but I'm sure we'll actually make it out of here. Because they only afflict dark, and dark isn't actually that bad of a thing to have on you. Uh, it's supposed to negate how much, like, like the idea of dark is, oh, hey, now you can't um, attack as well. But with dark on, we tend to be able to attack just fine. But now we've actually made it back to Melman, we can revive our party and head to Elfheim or wh whatever village we can find to actually revive our party. Because Sticky and um, Iqbal are dead, which is really bad. Because Iqbal is the only one that can revive people or the uh, priests, but there doesn't seem to be one at the moment. Yeah, HP zero. Yeah, yeah, we are. And here's your twin. So yeah, defeating the vampire didn't change anything. So now you gotta find another way to uh, help it. So whatever is effing with the earth stone. Or earth gem or whatever. Your pop shot. What does your pop do? Does he revive dead people? Because if he does, I'd be wonderful. Okay, I remember there was someone talking about a, the gym, I thought. Oh, wow. So up north, we should find the rock we need probably for the dwarf. That's interesting. Oh wow, okay, here, this is it. So we actually found a ruby. Uh, I believe it's like a ruby with the uh, vampire. So it looks like the Titan in the cave eats, eats rocks. Where, where is he? Where is he, damn it? Dude, I know nothing about anything in this game. Oh, get out of my way, man. You don't want to mess with me. I've got dead people. <laughs> I always do that, man. I always just like run right back into town. Perfect. So now we should be able to get out of here. Actually, it's going to be this way. Ideally, we won't get into a battle on the sea, but I imagine we will pretty soon because we've been going a long time. 
Perfect, actually. No battle, and we're almost to Elfheim. And these guys are going to be super easy to beat. And right now, we're, we are definitely just in the recovery stage. We took a real beating in the Terra Cavern, or whatever. So, a kind of a time of, like, replenishment is in order. Yeah. So, we're low on potions, and, um on party members who are alive. So, those are two things we're coming to Elfheim for. Cool. So in here we should find the guy we need. Yes, I will pay for their lives, man. Just revive them. Nice. And then we can use the end to heal ourselves, get potions, and figure out what our next goal is. And we should be perfect there. Yeah, I went the wrong way there. It's to the left of the town for the uh, potions. Yeah, and at this point, 5,000 gil is actually nothing. <laughs> okay, we did encounter some enemies that gave us stone. I kind of regret that, but I feel like stone's going to be a big issue. And if it's not, I mean, what's well, 20,000 gil, right? <laughs> Anyways, there's rumored to be a civilization to the north of um, Mel uh, Melmond or Meldum or that one place we were. So yeah, we should be able to get some uh, some maybe some side quest things up there. entrance here. So it's supposed to be north. Well, I mean... Because we actually did not really explore the land here. Most of what we did was just get in the ship and get the hell out. Nice. Yeah, we're, we're actually reaching like the 200 damage threshold, which is awesome. I mean, the more damage you do, the better, of course. really hope they don't paralyze Sticky. I mean, he's the, yeah, he's the major guy here, because he can do area spells. We might actually not be able to go north.
Yeah, there's gonna be no north for us here. Which is fine. Uh, we might have to just take the boat or just find some other way. Okay then, that was that was pretty quick actually. Perfect. So it looks like um, the enemies are fighting here, of course, super weak, so not that big of a deal. Um, yeah. Yeah, nothing up north. Yeah, like Privateer, I mean, what does Privateer have, like two health? It's kind of nice for facing things that aren't really that bad. Um, I mean, it's kind of a change of pace. We would prefer more experience, but... I mean, a break isn't too bad. Man, that shark just got brutalized. So now we're just exploring the sea, kind of. It's obviously the cave we were just at. But south was uh, where a man was supposed to be. So that might be the way to go. North was uh, supposed to be advanced civilization. That's what I kind of wanted to see. But we might not be able to get there yet. And he is just trying to paralyze everyone. Wow, it actually worked. I'm actually really surprised that worked. I mean, it's not that bad, actually, because I'm not too worried about it. Yeah. Because the thing about it is he's going to keep on using that on everyone. So the odds of him actually getting everyone paralyzed is kind of slim. Because even if he paralyzed Warwick, it would just, he would still probably be casting it on, like, Sticky and Loft and stuff. Like, like he's just casting it on off right now for no reason. Yeah, so I'd say Paralyze only really bothers me when it's someone, like, attacking with the, like, side effect of, oh, now you're paralyzed too. Because then it's just harder to deal with. Looks like this place goes south for quite a bit. I don't know how south to south go. Yeah, we're gonna probably want to take out that uh, goggler pretty early on, actually. Oh wow, yeah, <laughs> well, Loth is all over it.
Oh, shoot. All right, we got it, guys. And there's open sea here for sure. In fact, this is just going to curve into, like, the uh, blockade I had to deal with. We might actually get a port over here. I feel like there would be one, but... No. And I'm glad that we don't encounter enemies every five seconds. That makes it a lot easier. It'd be super annoying if it happened, like, every two seconds. It would be like, okay, well, now it's just impossible to explore. I have a feeling this isn't leading to a port. No, it's not. And only a shark isn't too bad. I mean, just one hit from a law for work should take it off. Oh, that's a place. No, we want to port here. If we can, because we actually found a location. Preemptive strike is beautiful. Um, we're gonna use bolt two on all these guys. I mean, I know it's not necessary, but it's just kind of makes it easier. This one's probably a place where we can't land just yet. But that would certainly be nice. Awesome, that's going to end his life. And we're actually probably going to end that here. Um, it's been a pretty decent uh, length video. And when we come back, we'll start. We'll continue exploring the sea and seeing what we can find. Get it? Seeing what we can find in the sea. Oh, it's, it's a stupid pun. Anyways, as always, thank you for watching. Definitely check out the vote form below. And have a wonderful day, guys.